Hello, my name is Aaron Carrington and welcome to this beginner guitar lesson on how to play We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Before we get zoomed into the guitar, let me run a couple of things by you. The first thing is the time signature of this song. It isn't counted in four, it's counted in six, okay? So in the back of your mind, you're gonna have to have the following. A one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay, so you're gonna have to have that running in the back of your mind the whole time. The next thing is, of course, the strumming pattern. Now, fortunately for you guys, the strumming pattern that I've chosen to use lines up perfectly with the actual words of the song. So if I was to isolate that strumming pattern and play it on its own, it would go like this. Two, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. Down, down, down. Those last three chords, all down strokes, but you can hear how it lines up with the words, hopefully there, because I sang the melody for you. And then, of course, we're going to have to know which chords are actually used. So the chords used in this song are as follows. We have G major and C. We have A and D. We have B and E minor. And then to finish the song, it goes C, D, G. Now that B major is a tricky, tricky little number, okay? So if you can't do the B major bar chord version, what you can do instead is take the first finger and you can bar across frets four of the D, G and B strings and that's gonna give you the B major chord if you need that. So without further ado, for your benefit, let's get zoomed in. Okay, let's get a closer look at these individual chords. So we're starting with a G major chord. Our first finger goes on the second fret of the A. Our second finger goes on the third fret of the low E. And then our third finger goes on the third fret of the high E string there. And all the other strings are open and we actually strum all of the strings for that chord. That gives us our G major chord there. Then we do our C major chord. So our first finger goes to the first fret of the B, second finger to the second fret of the D, and then third finger to the third fret of the A. And then we strum all of the strings except the thickest string. We do not strum the low E for this. And here's a handy little tip for when you're doing your C chord. The tip of the third finger, if you can, wants to be touching the bottom of the low E string. Don't over worry about this, but what it means is that you're muting that low E so that when you're strumming, you haven't got to be extra, extra careful with your strumming there. So the next chord in the song is an A chord. So your first finger will be on fret one of the, uh, sorry, fret two of the D string. Your second finger will be on fret two of the G string. And then your third finger will be on fret two of the B string. And then you strum all of the strings apart from the low E once again. Now this A chord can be a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna show you a couple of alternative ways of playing this. If you find it hard to squeeze these fingers in the way I'm doing right now, you can swap the second and the first over. So your first is now on the second of the G, your second is now on the second of the D, and your third is now on the second of the B. And you strum the same strings, of course. Or, if you find this easier, if you've done any of my one finger song lessons, you'll recognize this shape. So you put your first finger across the second fret of the D, G, and B strings, and then when you're strumming, only strum the A, D, G, and B. So you're strumming the inside four strings for this version of the A chord. So, so far we've had G, and then C, and then A, whichever version of A you're gonna do. And then we're gonna do a D chord, and to do a D chord on the guitar, our first finger goes to the second of the G, our second goes to the second of the high E, and our third goes to the third of the B. And we strum the thinnest four strings. We do not strum the low E, we do not strum the A, we strum everything from the D string downwards. So G, C, A, D, 
So this next chord is the granddaddy. It is a B major bar chord, quite difficult if you're a beginner. So let's figure out how we do this one first of all. We bar across the second fret and we bar all of the strings except the low E, but the tip of our first finger wants to be touching that low E string, so the low E string is muted. So if we were just to play with the first finger without putting the other fingers down, it would sound like this. And then we can start to join those other fingers in. So this is where it becomes very, very stretchy and difficult. So your second finger goes to the second, uh, sorry, the fourth of the D string. So you've now got the bar plus the fourth of the D. Then your third finger goes to the fourth of the G string. And your pinky goes underneath that on the fourth of the high E. And that is your B major bar chord and that is pretty difficult to be honest with you even after years of playing I still find that one a little bit difficult at the moment because it's not something I commonly use I normally resort to this one with the pinky um, and it's never failed me so you could try that one as well where you bar across with the pinky but the easy version of that chord that I think most of you are going to be able to do is where you take the first finger and you turn that B major bar chord into a one finger chord and you bar across the D G and B strings at the fourth fret so you're taking that bar out of the equation, you don't need that, and you're just playing the D, G and B strings. That's gonna give you the B major there. And the next chord in the sequence is E minor. First finger goes to fret two of the A, second finger goes to fret two of the D, and then we strum all of the strings, like so. So, so far, we've got this. G, C, A, D, B major, E minor, and then to finish off we just repeat chords we've already done. So we go C, D, G. Quite quick changes at the end there. Happy New Year. All right. So all together, nice close up so you can see. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wonderful. If you do want a chord chart for that with some chord diagrams and stuff on it, there's a link in the description. Go over to the website and you'll have a chord chart there and that'll hopefully help you out even further. If you want more like this, check out what's on your screen now.